Chef Jamika Pessoa. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia, and you're in the kitchen with Rolling Out TV. Chef Jamika Pessoa takes us in the kitchen to talk about how she got started and gives us the inside scoop on what it really takes to be a professional, personal chef. I was introduced to being a chef, actually it was by accident. Um, being a chef is my second choice of a career. My first degree is in marketing, so I was in corporate America doing advertising, marketing for about two years, and I just really did not like my job. I mean, I always loved to cook. I would cook for my family and friends, and they would always tell me, you know, you should really do something with this, but I thought, you know, I should go the conventional route. And um, when my job started laying people off, they laid my department off, and I said, hey, if I'm going to do this, is now or never. And I said I wanted to find a career that um, I would always be in demand because everybody loves to eat. So I said I'd go with my first love and I just started cooking, went to culinary school and here we are. As far as chefs in the business industry, there's, there's always a, a large market for chefs um, because like I said, everybody loves to eat. There's always a restaurant and that's one thing with being a chef. You're on the clock pretty much 24 hours a day. As long as people are eating, you're going to be working. So it's a great um, career path to choose because you're always going to be in demand. And especially now with you seeing a lot more of the cooking shows and food networks that are really taking the entertainment aspect from chefs. So you're seeing a lot more shows, you're seeing them a lot more creative aspects outside of the kitchen. So that's really a great, great place where you're seeing chefs now. There's so many things um, behind the scenes as a chef that you do not get to see. All you're worried about when you get that plate of food in front of you, you're just ready to eat. And you really don't think about all the time, the preparation, how many people it took just to get that one meal together. So for me, I did the commercial aspect of cooking. I did the restaurant thing for a while, but I chose to take a different route because I'm a personal chef. So that means I go into people's homes and I cook for them. So I really get to see how they enjoy my food and I get to relate back and forth with them as opposed to the food going out. And you never really know how they're feeling about your meal. So I do a lot of different types of creative cuisines. A lot of uh, celebrities I work with, like professional athletes, and entertainers. They're more into the nutritional aspect of their food. So that gives me a lot of creative insight on what I can do to make the food taste great and look great, but I kind of cut a little few things on the side. But you still have no clue what it takes. You have There's a lot of preparation. There's the menu selection, your clientele, how they're going to receive the food, how you're going to serve the food, the colors, what plates you're going to serve it on. It's, it's a full production and I think a lot of people take it for granted. I certainly took it for granted before I really started doing this. There's definitely a such thing as healthy cooking and um, having it taste great too. A lot of people think when they hear the word healthy that it's going to be something that they really don't want to eat, that they're ha going to have to force themselves to eat. I really um, thrive on creating food that people really don't know that I've cut a lot of calories, I've cut a lot of fat. There's a lot of great substitutions that you can use out there that really have all the flavor and half the calories, half the fat. So there's definitely a healthy way of cooking. The difference between uh, cooking and a chef, a lot of people ask me that. I mean, anyone can be a cook. If you're at home or you're in your mom's kitchen or whatever, you're cooking, it tastes good, it's something edible, that makes you a cook. Um, to be a chef, for me, it's, it's a rite of passage. You can't just walk in and say you're a chef. And that's a title that I had to earn, and it comes with confidence, too. Because it's the chef has the artistic vision, and he or she is the one that relays the message to all the other cooks, and they put forth whatever that vision is. So it's a lot more it's a lot more of a managerial type position. You have to be able to be a leader and have other people follow you. So that's the entire kitchen, your entire work staff. They have to be able to look at you and know that you're going to run the brigade, you're going to take care of the food, take care of the people, and everything's going to work out. And you also take the heat if something goes wrong. So you definitely have to have tough skin if you're going to be a chef. Education is very important in my field because um, I got my culinary degree at the Art Institute of Atlanta, but I know a lot of chefs that did not go to culinary school. And you can go that route, that's fine, but you're going to have to work a whole lot harder and you're going to have to start at the bottom and work your way up. But as a chef, you really never stop learning. There's always different ways to create foods, there's different techniques, and you always have to look for a way to do something better than the, than the next person did. So I'm constantly researching, eating out, um, reading cookbooks, just really much experimenting in my own kitchen to educate myself on, on what's the next best thing that I can come up with for my clients. The most challenging thing I would say to be a chef um, it's a lot of long hours. Um, get a good pair of shoes because you're going to be on your feet a really long time. Um, 
But besides all that, it's really gratifying when people see what it is that you created and they see the love into your food. And that's really what I, I love being about a chef. People get to see a little bit of me. If you meet me or not, you taste my food, you're going to get a little piece of me because I put my, my energy, my love, my effort into that plate. And that's what chefs really do. They go beyond the call of duty to really, it's about the food. So, and that's for the love of the food. But it's, it's a lot, it's very intense, but it's worth it in the end for me. Hey everybody, this is Chef Jamika Pessoa and you're in the kitchen with Rolling Out TV.